In this tutorial, we'll talk a bit about how to quickly jump in between different groups of components using sets. And this is slightly different than isolating individual components for things like a VSP arrow run or a parasite drag analysis or even ComGeom. This is more to do with isolating individual components together so that you can quickly jump around between regions of a model and, and view them accordingly. So let's see what I'm talking about here. In the sets, we have some predefined groups, and this is the basically the test transport aircraft model here. And if we come to, say, the lifting set and choose so, show only, you'll notice that only the horizontal tail and the wing are isolated. And of course, we can press our F key or go to view fit on screen, and it will isolate and center these. And of course, the centroid is about right here. So you can easily turn and orbit around this and see everything nicely on the screen. So if we wanted to do the tail control surfaces instead, we choose show only and notice it quickly isolates those once again, press F and it zooms in on the bounding box around all of these components, puts the centroid right in the middle. And you can see that we can easily view and orbit around this smaller group of components. Now with that in mind, imagine that you had a detailed model with lots and lots and lots of nested components. So not just simply a fuselage and a wing and a tail, that you had landing gear, that you had engine groups, you had wiring, you had individual components somewhere within the aircraft itself, or had an APU group somewhere back close to the tail. Well, if you tried to come in and do this just in the selection tab, and let's say we wanted to see the wing and the horizontal tail. Notice how in the selection box, duct is also in bold. So it's telling you that if you would show this, what's going to happen is that all the children of the components that you selected are also going to come along with it. So in this case, we got the wing and the duct and the horizontal tail. To go back and hide that to get the lifting surface that we wanted, we would have to select those individual components and click no show. Whereas if we come to the full aircraft, go to lifting surfaces, show only, bam, you're done. So it's a way of quickly going through your model tree and individually selecting components that you want to be able to view at once without having to bother with going and rehiding all of the children components that go along with a particular piece. So, I mean, imagine if you had the engines and then you had, say, an inner nacelle to those engines. If something like uh, a cargo aircraft or a military vehicle, you had pods and stores or instruments all along the wing. Each one of those components would have to be hidden just to go back and get the wing by itself. Be pretty annoying. So sets are a really great way of working much more efficiently when you're trying to isolate individual components for viewing.